fathers. He will be an amazing father. We're yeah. friends. <laughs> We're just friends, can but we, he wants it. Can we talk about this uh, not in front of everyone, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm single. It's complicated. I'm single, guys. I'm single. What? So we have this, so this is... All right, sisters fans, we have asked, we have pleaded, we have begged, we have just lost our minds waiting for this moment. And we finally will get to it in the upcoming episodes of Season 4B. Karen is finally taking her ass to the doctors for an appointment to see how far along she is with this child. Keep in mind, if not for Aaron arranging this entire appointment, this probably would not have happened until like season seven of the show. Assuming even if the show went on that long, it would, you know, Karen would have kept on pushing it back, pushing it back, pushing it back. She's at the doctor's office. And, um, Considering that, you know, Aaron knows the people down at this, uh, you know, particular office and whatnot, it seems like the doctor is trying to, like, vouch for Aaron to caring about how he'll be an amazing father. And the, <laughs> the, the, just the reaction of these two when she says that is hilarious, you know, from Karen's mouth, you know, just going wide, like, you know, her bottom jaw just dropped like, oh, oh, he, he's not the father. And then Aaron's like, <laughs> so it's just one of those things where um, it's going to be interesting to see how things play out, I believe, in episode uh, 13, Shaking in the Rain, where Karen receives some troublesome news, which could either be one of two things. Um, well, technically three. She's not pregnant. The doctor's timeline matches up with Aaron's, meaning he is the father. Or due to her age, there could be an increased chance that the baby might have complications. Um, well, the pregnancy may have complications, especially when it comes time to have the child. So she's probably going to have to make a decision. But regardless, um, I have no doubt in my mind that Karen is going to deny not only that Aaron isn't the father, but also, you know, deflect any um, any potential thoughts of the doctor, even thinking they are a couple it's just like that funny uh clip i use from let's make a deal where wayne brady is asking you know um these two contestants if how long they've been together and dude gets friend zone hard on live television but that post i made last night went pretty well so it's just funny to me how karen is still in denial and i just feel like regardless look i feel even if the test comes back and it says she's not pregnant or if the test comes back and it turns out it matches with Aaron's timeline and Zach isn't the father Karen does not want to hear it because in her mind are you sure it, 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 there's no way Aaron is the father and I, I'm definitely pregnant and then for like the doctor to explain well it's normal for pregnancy and I took a bunch of pregnancy tests pregnancy tests can be wrong like you know and it can give inaccurate readings and sometimes you know if you miss you know uh certain cycles and your look i'm not a woman so i'm not going to try to talk like i know what the hell's going on but you know sometimes in women it's possible to mistake a pregnancy when it's actually something else so it's just one of those things where i feel like karen is going to get a whole not a slice but a whole factory of humble pie thrown in her face i mean given some of the episode synopsis later on this season season four episode 16 look closely karen and aaron draw closer could it be that she's disappointed that she's not pregnant and since she no longer truly has any ties to zach aaron uses this as an opportunity to showcase like look you know this whole zach thing really isn't holding you back so why not you know, we try to get together. But then in episode 20, uh, Inside and Out, Karen chooses to tell Zach how she genuinely feels. I don't even know how the hell that's going to work out later on this season. That's episode 20. But regardless, um, I just feel like Karen is probably going to be in for a rude awakening when she's at the hospital. But I'm just glad it's finally happening. I really am glad that it's finally going down. So let me know what you think is going to happen. Like I said, I feel like she's going to friend zone Aaron, deny that he's the father, 
And then the doctor's going to give her that troublesome news in episode 13, and that's going to turn shit upside down. So, thanks so much for tuning in. And a couple last thoughts I just thought about. Um, number one, like I said in my trailer breakdown, or promo breakdown video, I think it was brilliant that the trailer was edited where it starts off showing people what they wanted, which was Karen at the um, you know doctor's office. But then the rest of the promo is like Zatima heartbreak. It's like, oh my god, Fatima's getting arrested. Yay, Hayden tackle is getting tackled by Zach, but now it's like, who's getting 15 years? So I love the effective misdirection in the promo. And also there are some people talking about, ooh, Karen's going to be mad at Andy. You know, the fact that she's not at the doctor's appointment, but she's there trying to help out Zach and um, Fatima with their legal issues and whatnot. Well, remember, Andy pleaded with Karen to let her know when she was going to the hospital for the checkup so she could be there for her friend. But no. Aaron called Karen to let her know he set the appointment. Then Karen went to Andy. Then Karen went to Danny to pretty much bitch and moan and say that, you know what? I can't believe Zach got arrested again. Or I can't believe she, he's still with that girl and, you know, this and that. He loves me. I want to go get him back. While she was over at Andy, she never once brought up the fact that a doctor's appointment was made for the next morning. So if she's somewhat mad that Andy wasn't there, she has no one to blame but herself. Now, that's all I got. So hit the thumbs up button to show you liked the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. Hit subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next video.